Hey everybody, um, I was hoping to just do a quick intro to uh, Retro CRT and everything that it gets you. Um, this is just a quick splash video that I put together. It's about 30 seconds. I use public domain assets to do all of this. Uh, and then on the command line, just tied it together with FFmpeg. Pretty neat stuff. So I also made it a little long because my uh, Pi 3 is very slow. So I don't have my uh, B plus in here right now. So it comes into uh, the theme that I created. It's very, uh, very simple, very bare bones. Um, there's a couple uh, PD-ROMs in here. Um, there's also like test suites. So we'll drop into the test suite real quick. This is starting to pop up again. Um, I have it disabled in Retro Arch, but uh, it comes back. So you got to figure that out. Um, so I mean, everybody that has been messing around with stuff is fairly familiar with this. I can never remember the right button. But as you can see, the drop shadow looks the way it should. Stripe sprite test. Looks great. No interlaced video here. Um, so we'll pop out of this. And I'll go down to Fandom Gear. I have fallen in love with this game. I had no idea that it existed until uh, like two days ago. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if it's come out yet, um, the full version. This is a demo that came out a couple months ago. But uh, definitely check them out. But, I mean, as you can see, everything looks great. Um, to my eye, it's pixel perfect. But, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that would complain uh, about something. I'm not sure what. Uh, big bug. And this is RetroArch is this. Um, so since we stretch the screen out to 1920 and then scale retro arch to whatever it needs to be, um, it should fill this entire thing. This is very recent. This is like within the last week this started happening. So I go down to settings and I select video. Lo and behold, it just expands. Something's being uh, reread and uh, reminding it what it should look like. I back out of that menu and everything is normal again. Um, so one of the cool uh, things is that you can update your your the core configuration for RetroArch, uh, or I mean, or you could update the uh, configuration per core, like for Mega Drive or whatever. And as long as it doesn't conflict with one of the lines that Retro CRT cares about, it's fine. It's not going to get overwritten. It will exist there forever until you change it again. Um, so to go through Retro CRT's configuration, you go into the Retro Pi menu and emulation station, emulation station, go down to Retro CRT, fire it up. You will be greeted with this, which is just making sure that it has the correct version of Ansible installed. Uh, it's the tool set that I use to manage the configuration files and uh, moving things around. That's how I'm able to update files without clobbering everything. So you come into a bunch of licensed stuff. Um, bugs should be reported on GitHub. Here's my email address. Drop the space, put in the punctuation where it belongs. There's a Facebook group. RetroPie CRT Gamers. Um, great group. There's about 300 something people in there right now. We talk about themes. Uh, there's like three or four people with CRT distributions. Um, so mine is just one of them. But uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good group. Um, so this works with four different pieces of hardware. Uh, the Retro Tank, which I'm using in my other room, um, VGA666, 
Only RGB out though, not for VGA monitors. Um, I can't get my VGA monitor to work, but I know other people have gotten their RGB set up with like a PVM working with this um, using the VGA 666. And Pi2 Jam and Pi2 S Cart are based on VGA 666. So they both work. Um, the JAMA controls do not work yet. That is coming in a future release. Um, also coming up is uh, RetroTrinx S Video and Composite and the internal 3.5 millimeter. Um, so in this it asks you if you want to update, always a good idea just to check it out, see if there's any updates. Hey, look at that. There's some updates. Um, just minor stuff that I've been tinkering with. So once it does the update, it runs through again, the Ansible stuff, just to make sure that it has the version that I care about. I do that because uh, um, Ra Raspbian has an ancient version that doesn't do a lot of the stuff that I want to do. So we're going to go through this again. We don't want to restart. So rotations handled by emulation station and RetroArch, not in hardware because there's like a hardware, pe there's a performance penalty. Um, so there's also a new bug I introduced in ES in the past two weeks. Um, Rotation with this way being the uh, vertical, I mean the uh, upper part, top part of your screen. Themes don't lay out correctly. This is uh, the top part of your screen. You're good to go. Um, it's a little annoying, but uh, you know, that's, uh, that's free. It's free software. So in this, you select between your, your uh, the video outputs that we, uh, we will have available. Um, these are 18-bit color. This is 24-bit color. That's the big difference from what I understand. The video will just look garbled if you use the wrong one. Um, you can update the boot uh, config.txt to change it uh, in case it boots up garbled. You can still tell what's happening. The colors are just going to be really weird. Um, and then you can just go into this menu and fix it, and then it'll rerun through the configuration. So since this is a JAMA machine, do that. Last chance to abort. Let's do it. So it writes to the config, and then it's going to start running the uh, Ansible playbook. This can take a while, um, because as I said before, it's like updating line by line, instead of just clobbering configuration files like almost everybody else that I've seen out there that has uh, specialized uh, Raspberry Pi distros. Um, one of the big things, too, is uh, if you ever do uh, like an update in RetroPie or update your OS packages, you 100% should run this again. You can run this a thousand times. It's not going to behave weird. Um, but things get broken, like automatic login. I have uh, stuff in here that makes sure that the automatic login is, uh, is working and fixed. Um, in the future... This will also be self-healing, so uh, there'll be a service that starts up as the machine boots. It will look for the automatic login stuff. Um, if it's not there, it'll fix it. It'll look for a corrupted uh, uh, ES systems uh, config, which will prevent emulation station from running. It'll, it'll put a new one in there, um, which is uh, all pretty nice. Um, and it's mostly just things that bug me <laughs> or what I'm doing. Um, so, you know, just uh, I'm open to suggestions always. Open up uh, tickets in the uh, in GitHub and I'll address them. So this is very slow going, very boring. But this is the magic that... Uh, makes it live happily along with uh, other things. So, um, see here, it's checking the sim link for the auto login. It's fine. Um, in the near future, it's going to be able to handle your Wi-Fi configuration. Currently, you know, you put in Wi-Fi.txt and boot, and it's supposed to configure it, but you also have to set the country code. This just takes care of all that for you. There you go. It finished. Um, 
else can I show you? Uh, there's no BIOS that comes with this, so these won't work until you put a BIOS. Install BIOS. Um, but here, handheld games. As far as I can tell, these are pixel perfect. Um, so, this game is terrible, but it's free. Let's see, I guess I gotta collect. Oh, game over. Yeah, it's painful. But it works. And that's what's important, right? So, there's a couple other games here. 2048 is one of my favorites. Um, my highest tile is uh, 4096. I think I got an... Did I get an 8192? I can't remember. There's pictures of it on Facebook somewhere. But yeah, this game is great. Yeah, just keep going until you get some decent sized tiles and then you start paying attention. All right, it's getting crowded. So, you know, you start cleaning up. This game is so much fun. But yeah, you know, you too could uh, have a $500 arcade cabinet in your house and just play crappy games like me. All right, anyway, uh, that's about it. Um, I hope you guys like it. Thanks.